Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another awesome collection pop culture video. Today I'm going to take a look at some Beverly Hillbilly trading cards. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. These came out 30 years after the show. These are from uh, 1993. Very cool. Black and white pictures and a lot of color pictures. So many ones from different episodes with all kinds of information. We'll look through... Uh, some here and uh, the show was on from 62 to 71 and i believe for the first two seasons it was number one show in america and you see jed there There's jethro granny and ellie may in an early one and they are in the kitchen with miss jane and there's Jethro and Mr. Drysdale. Mr. Drysdale was one of my favorite characters on the show, even though he's not one of the Bill Billies. So one of my favorite characters. Uh, probably Mr. Drysdale and Jethro, then Granny, then Jed, then uh, Miss Jane, and then uh, Ellie Mae. His form is uh, funny, goes. Won't flip all the ones on the back, but you can see there's a lot of information. So there's a lot in here telling you about it. C card this and behind the scenes. Talking about his toupee for Ray Bailey, Mr. Ivan. He, that actor was in uh, different things in the 1950s, some sci-fi movies and stuff. And you can see him without his toupee. Even though this is a, a decade later, he looks younger wearing uh, his toupee than... Uh, when he, he was just bald, naturally. It looks pretty good, too. Lots and lots of episodes. Funny there. So they really go in depth. There's uh, Dr. Clyburn, that actor there. He was in a, a lot of uh, uh, movies and shows over time, and that was a re semi recurring character a few times there. There's Duke, their bloodhound. So they really go into depth in a lot of these cards. So if you're a real fan of the show, you'll recognize uh, some of these episodes and so forth. There's Mr. Drysdale, a super banker, and they got him in fake uh, hillbilly poor outfits there, and they had that set up in the backyard, and they were filming a commercial, Rags to Riches. Yeah, so uh, and they're talking about the coloring change from scene to scene. The first three seasons were black and white, and then they they switched to color. There's Mrs. Drysdale. She's funny too, so she'd be right in there, and she was uh, like the the seventh character because she was in from the early seasons all the way up to about seven or eight. I don't think she was in the last season or so very much, but she was really good, always getting in arguments with Granny and so forth. Had to do with her husband did, but reduc Mr. Drysdale said reduc reluctantly. There's Ellie Mae with one of our critters. And it's funny uh, that uh, Jethro was... Uh, Going to be a producer. They always show the cornflakes that was a sponsor of the show. And there they are. Uh, Mr. Drysdale's dressed up as a uh, gypsy. That was a funny one. Oh, the the gypsy woman. Gonna Miss Drysdale gonna p cheat a poor gypsy woman, and uh, Granny was afraid. Uh, she was, the gypsies were going to steal our big baby, and Jed goes, that's a mighty big baby, um, Granny, talking about Jethro. Flip through these a little faster. There's that neat red car they had for Mr. Drysdale, Mr. Jane, later on. There, I think, is that some little Middleby Drysdale trying to cheat them. They say that they give you multiple cards per episode on some of these things. There's Jethro when he's got trying to go mod there in that, uh, like a producer or something again, in that neat jacket. There he is in the, the park. It was a funny episode with the hippies. And some of these episodes, if you're familiar with the show, uh, 
there's a, on the cards were uh, multi-parters, and they did that throughout the seasons. So much so at the very last season or two, it was too much multi-parter. Here is another picture of him in that neat outfit. I don't know if that's an Aero jacket or just something mod. There's Granny getting picked up there. I don't know if there's some uh, duplicates. There's an early picture of Buddy Epson. Let's switch over these, this group. I like the early episodes too, but my favorites are the the three mid seasons, sixty five, sixty six, sixty six, sixty seven, sixty seven, sixty eight. The early ones were weird. They had Jethro was Jethreen playing his cousin. I think that's Max Bear there. Thankfully, they dropped that after a while. There's Biddle's Bird Watchers with uh, Wally Cox. That was a funny one. I think that was a two-parter, too. Mrs. Drysdale knocked out there. <sighs> There's Jethro's recruit there. He's a mighty big recruit. West Point at grammar school. He done graduated the sixth grade. And then Sonny Drysdale, Louie Nye was on there. Funny. There's Ellie and uh, maybe that's Bessie or I forget the other name of the chimp. They had two different chimps on there. Be careful with those because those things can bite terribly if they... Uh, misbehave and go nuts. There's a nice one, an early one of Ellie. That's, I think, the skeet shoot one. That's them back in the cabin. That was a Halloween when they come to the door and they look, I didn't know what that was all about. There's uh, the other banker there, and Jethro's, uh, and Mr. Cushing is the other banker, and Jethro was going to be a uh, double-knot spy, that's what he calls 007. And er uh, for part of these, I don't think I saw her in any of the pictures, uh, Secretary Janet Trigo was on there, which was uh, Sharon Tate, the actress, ill-fated actress. A lot of wild humor on these. You can see, so they just a lot on some episodes. Very cool. Let's look at the main card again. These kind of fit in this, but it's just too many. I don't know if I have another batch of these where I put them in an album or not, but there's a ton of them. 110. Checklist. Nineteen ninety-three. I think they still had some of the the wrappers, but we didn't find those in this batch. And I also have uh, Andy Griffith Show, which is a good one. So that's a look at a great show. I wish they'd put the whole thing out on. DVD, they only have some out. They never completed it because there were so many seasons for whatever reason. Until next time, and I, I think I'll leave a link. I think I did the comic books that came out in the time in the 1960s, so I'll probably leave a link to that in the end here. Till next time, more Pop Culture Edition, awesome collection. Thanks for watching, everyone.